Hello friends, welcome to Learning Techniques and I am your host Hemant Gangwar. In today's video, we will be installing Ansible Tower. So those who are not aware exactly what it, Ansible Tower is, it is in simple terms, it's a GUI Django based front end for Ansible management. So you can refer our blog for more details about it. So as prerequisite, you need some of these values like minimum RAM and a repository collection. In case you don't have, we have to install that. So let's check on the CLI. So we can see that we have enough RAM available. Now just install the software collection repository as well so that we don't have to care about the PostgreSQL and other dependent packages. The link for it is also given in the description section. Now, just uh, for the safer site, mount our uh, OS DVD as well, so that we don't have to deal with any OS level dependencies. So now moving with the Ansible package that you can uh, easily get on the website, the link is this. Go to your, any of your browser and uh, download the package from there. So you can see um, it's underlined, the package name is underlined and also the steps are also given how you can do that. So meantime, it's downloading. Uh, I have copied the package to my system and let's we can start quickly. So it's inside the slash temp slash tower. I've copied the package. This is the package and uh, we can unzip it using uh, tar utility, XZF. So once it's uh, unzipped, it will create a directory for us. So here you can file uh, find out of files. The choice of files are setup.sh and inventory for us. So now we have to update the inventory file, which is uh, available locally, and uh, we have to update the passwords required. This is a basic setup. For advanced setup, you have to update a lot of other values as well. So you can see here the admin passwords is given. So just make a note of the password which you are giving over here. And uh, then the PostgreSQL password you can also provide. This basic configuration is enough for us. Now we can see that uh, here is a setup.sh script. So those who are interested in bash scripting can have a look on the script. It contains some uh, pre-flight section and other Ansible roles and some commands as well. It's a good read. So one should go for it. So let's execute our script. So you can use either command sh or dot slash as it is a sh script. So Now it will start installing uh, Ansible Tower for you, depending on the requirements. You can see this uh, deposition warning because we are using RHEL 7. For RHEL 8, you won't find this warning. Then it will perform a basic uh, dry run. You can also call it as a pre-flight check. Just to make sure that a system enough compatible enough to deploy the tower binaries. And then it will start installing the play dependencies for us, like uh, PostgreSQL and other Python dependencies, which are required for PostgreSQL as well. It may take a few minutes for you. So let's pause the video and uh, move ahead. So now we can see that the PostgreSQL is installed. In the meantime, uh, it will go ahead and install the Tower RPM for you as well. You, in the mid, you will also notice there are some supervisor packages installed. Even the Ansible native package will also be installed. So it will also install a RabbitMQ for you for messaging portion, update some firewall rules so that uh, communication will be smooth. And the last step, it will restart the supervisor for you. So
So if you're not getting any errors till now, uh, it looks good. Depending on your uh, internet speed, these steps may take 15 to 45 minutes for you. So once it's successfully done, you can see a log file is already there for the installation. You can refer it. They also provided a command line service utility so that you can start, stop, you check status of your tower from CLI only. So now our tower is installed. Now we have to access it. So we can access it using simply uh, HTTPS and the FQDN of the server. Go to any browser of your choice like Mozilla, Chrome, and write the server name or the FQDN name, whatever you use to resolve the tower. Accept the self-signed certificate. So now it will pop up to the admin login. So now you have to provide the login which you pasted in the inventory file. So give the login and you can see the tower is there now. Before uh, getting started, it will let you know, it will ask you basically to provide a valid subscription for it. So you have to give your uh, Red Hat username login and proceed further. Thank mm -hmm. you. 